Hi, I'm Bill Powers, and uh, I am a family law attorney in Charlotte, and I've been practicing in Beckford County since 1992, so depending on when you're watching this video, um, well, <laughs> it's a long time. Uh, and I, I think it's fair to say that uh, things have developed and changed over the years uh, across the board, and it doesn't matter whether you got a, a DWI in Charlotte or a criminal case or some sort of domestic violence issue or, or a divorce or a separation and uh, social norms and expectations have changed over these now almost, I guess, 30 years. One of the assumptions that some people uh, make is, or a question about, or ask questions about is, uh, does mom always get uh, the kids? Or does dad, is dad always limited to um, just weekend time or holidays or things like that? And in the past, uh, there were some um, general kind of assumptions in the system. I'm not going to say that was written in the law, uh, but there were some assumptions and I think it'd be um, unfair to not at least acknowledge that. And some of those assumptions were not always right, were not always fair, uh, were not always um, in the best interest of um, the people involved. That brings up a good point. When it comes to kids, when it comes to kids in a, in a marriage and a separation and an eventual divorce, uh, the court looks at what we refer to as the polar star, the North Star, and that is what is in the best interest of the child or children. And so they consider stability. They consider, you know, is this, a, is this household uh, that's projected to be the, uh, either a primary uh, household or even a uh, secondary um, placement? Uh, for lack of a better term, but is this going to be a 50-50 deal or is it better for the kids to stay in one house and go to school five days a week or does the couple live you know, next door to one another and it's no big deal, they can catch the bus. Um, but the court looks for stability, they look for the best interest of the children's education, their health, their friendships with others, their family, and their well-being. And as many different types of marital relationships that we have, um, I like to say every marriage is unique. I truly believe that. Uh, there are a lot of different, um, uh, I guess, opportunities for the best interests of the kids. And so courts don't just assume mom always gets the kids and dad only gets weekends. In fact, the courts nowadays don't even assume that it's always mom and dad. It could be dad and dad or mom and mom. Our laws in North Carolina, as I said, have changed in, in some ways for the better. Uh, but it's a good question. Um, we like to sit down and go over uh, those issues. Uh, it's one of the more in-depth issues that we spend a fair amount of time on because custody of kids is not just important for the court, it's important for the family. And there are instances where we deal with abusive relationships. We deal with relationships that are mentally abusive. We deal with relationships in people who have substance abuse problems and alcohol. And that too is considered in, in determining what's in the best interest of the children and who gets the kids or where they stay or how that all works. Give us a call. Uh, first thing we're, we're gonna wanna do is conflict check to make sure we're available for representation both in our scheduling and um, prior professional engagements. Uh, we'll also explain to you the costs associated with the consultation. We do charge a consultation fee for, and we spend about an hour sitting down talking with you. And then we charge hourly rates from that point forward. Uh, telephone number 704-342-4357. My name's Bill Powers, and uh, I'd love to hear from you.